What's going on guys? I've got my ball python eggs inside this heat cabinet. I put this heat cabinet together for my tarantulas a while back. I've got a couple of heat cabinets for tarantulas, etc. I don't have any tarantulas in this heat cabinet at the moment. I'm taking it all out and I'm using it for an incubator for my ball python eggs. I just received a clutch of eggs from a normal female and a male spider ball python this week. Separated my eggs and put them in some vermiculite in the tub and into my little heat cabinet. That's one of my tarantulas. <clears throat> Control the temps with this vivarium electronics. Got it set at 90. It's keeping it at 88, 89 degrees. Of course, I can check it with my little Pro Exotics temperature gauge, temperature gun. Got that from my buddy Nate Swift a while back. Cut this light on. Got them in this little tub. I also got this little gauge right here. It shows that it's 88 degrees inside the tub. my eggs. I was able to separate this one right here. Can't separate those. They're like super glued together. <laughs> Little red marks just to make sure the eggs are right side up basically. You don't want to turn your eggs. Kill the snakes. These little windows touching. They're dry, completely dry, so I don't have to worry about there being any damage from that. I just got them on straight vermiculite, one to one ratio. Got 300 grams of vermiculite in there. And then 300 grams of water. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you my clutch that I pulled earlier tonight. Well, actually, last night. It's 7 a.m. now. I've been up all night watching movies. Well, I'm going to leave them alone and let them do their thing. All right, guys, have a good day.